Up the hill tonight for the Giants will be the left handed veteran the two time Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell this year in six starts still looking for his first giant win. He's had to deal with a couple of injuries and put him on the I.L. Springer's been hot. Now the 1 0 pitch swing and there's a high pop up foul ground first base side Flores comes over near the coach's box. Now the wind blows it back toward fair ground and he makes the catch right next to the foul line in foul territory one away again Snell throws fastball and he struck him out swinging 96 miles an hour and blew it right by him two down and here is Vlad Guerrero Jr. three two pitch swing and there's a liner in the left field just to his right a couple of steps Conforto makes the catch three up three down strong first inning for Snell they will face left hander you say Kikuchi you say it was better against the Astros in his last outing after a tough stretch swung on and missed and Kikuchi gets a strata. good life on that fastball from Kikuchi early on here mixed in a changeup and a curveball and with his secondary pitches it keeps hitters on their toes the pitch to Ramos and he sends this one up the middle but cut off with relative ease and Leo makes the grab to record the out there's two down and a swing and a miss what a good start for you say three up three down with a couple of strikeouts both pitchers looking sharp in the first Turner who had a lot of success as a Dodger against the Giants two and one pitch swing and there's a high drive into center starting back was Ramos now in a little bit and to his left makes the catch one away the three two inside Jansen held off and he will take the trot down to first and this does indeed bring up Davis Schneider and this is into right center for a base hit Jansen will put the brakes on rounding the bag first and second one out the one two pitch swing and there's a high fly ball into shallow left in comes Conforto with Fitzgerald going out and Conforto makes the catch with two down here comes Dalton Varsho the 1 0 pitch swing and there's a high drive out into right center over to his left into the big part of the yard with plenty of room shy of the warning track caught by Ramos inning over and Matt Chapman will start things off for the Giants the former Blue Jay the 3 2 the wind up and delivery and he got him on the junk the slider at 85 and he sits down Chapman it's the third strikeout of the game for Kikuchi Kikuchi the one two pitch they're trying to go high and he got him swinging a miss Flores sits down and you say Kikuchi is dealing early he has fanned four of the first five Kikuchi trying to mow down the Giants in order yet again for a second straight inning to start this game swing and a miss got another one and you say Kikuchi is dialed in early here tonight he has faced six batters and he has struck out five of them and it's the number nine hitter Leo Jimenez the three two to Jimenez inside and as you just talked about finding a way to get on he did it right there he'll take the trot down to first Springer has been red hot 1 0 pitch ground ball towards short Fitzgerald has it flips to second one wisely to first got him double play Snell the leadoff walk but then he gets the ground ball nicely done two down just like that and Bo Bichette coming up and now Bichette swings hits a ground ball to short Fitzgerald has this one he throws to first and just like that the Blue Jays are retired Kikuchi working quickly here gets the sign from Jansen and the pitch and that one sent high in the air by Matos out into shallow center charging in making the grab is Dalton Varsho there's one down and Kikuchi came back with the 2 2 and he got Fitzgerald to bite on the curveball his sixth of the game and we're only midway through the third inning the pitch he hits one into right field base hit. Brett Weiss he's the guy who gets their first hit of the night and first base runner a two out single Cairo Estrada comes up wisely now on first and swing at the first pitch but it's a line drive straight at David Schneider who makes the grab in left to sit down the Giants we head to the fourth inning Guerrero Junior hitting from the right side waits and he grounds this one towards short Fitzgerald has it throws to first in plenty of time to get Vlad out number one that's three straight ground balls to shortstop he swings and hits a pop up he got totally tied up there wisely at second 46 pitches for Blake Snell two outs into the top of the fourth. One two pitch runner goes from first and it swung on and missed strike three tried to hold up and just had no chance Elliot Ramos who is heading to the All Star game this year a dozen home runs he is their center fielder just a remarkable story he swings here and drives this one to deep center field Varsho back at the wall it is gone 
Elliott Ramos in an 0-2 count to deep right center. His 13th home run of the year. Wow, what a swing. one nothing Giants. Extraordinary power to one of the deepest parts of the ballpark. Ernie Clement leading things off here in the fifth. Ernie Clement with a ground ball. Some tricky spin there, and he's safe. And Clement hustling down the line is safe at first, and the Jays have the leadoff man on. Now Snell throws. Swing, and there's a high pop fly. Back of third, out into the shallow outfield goes Chapman, and into foul territory to make the catch. One away, Clement. Holding on at first. Three and two, the count, the runner not going. The pitch is strike three, call a fastball right in there. But I think that one did freeze Jimenez, similar to that last plate appearance. Good pitch by Snell. Snell sets, the runner leads for first and goes, and now the throw goes to first. Flores throws to second, and the tag is made by Wisely, and the inning is over. Patrick Bailey, switch hitter, batting right handed, facing the left handed throwing, you say Kikuchi. Now the 1 0 pitch. Swing line drive into left center field, base hit. And that jumped off his bat with authority. 102 miles an hour. So here comes Luis Matos. Here's the pitch now. There's a line drive into right center, base hit. Coming to second is Bailey, turning the corner, heading for third. The right fielder Springer up with the ball, and he'll throw back into second. Luis Matos with a single to right center. And the Giants are in business. Runners at first and third with nobody out. That's strike three. One down, and there's that big strikeout that you said he needed, Joe. One out, 3 2. Swung on and missed. Another strikeout for Kikuchi, number nine. Blew him away with the fastball, stayed with the heater, and beat him. Ground ball to short. Backhanded by Bichette, and in time to get him. And what a job by Kikuchi. First and third, nobody out, and the Giants do not score. The 3 1 delivery is outside and Jansen does it again as he gets on Spencer Horwitz is coming to the plate so he is going to hit for Davis Schneider there he goes and Horwitz hits it in the air to left center Ramos still going back and he can't make the catch Jansen is going to be held he had gotten to second and had to see if the ball was going to be caught so he'll be held at third on a long double to left center by Spencer Horwitz. He's coming out of the game, so they need an outfielder, and Kevin Kiermeyer is going to run for him. So the Jays now with runners at second and third as Ernie Clement comes up. Clement hits it a long way to left field. Gone! Number five on the season for Ernie Clement, and all of a sudden it is three to one Blue Jays. Ernie got into this slider and did not miss it. And you don't need speed to score from second base on that one. 11 strikeouts, not only a season high for Yusei Kikuchi. And there is number 12 to match a career high. Well, I think the story of the night is that fastball from Kikuchi. And most notably at the top of the zone, he continues to use the upper part of the zone. One down, and here is Luis Matos. Ground ball to third. Clement to second one on the first for two Clement to Jimenez to Guerrero and what an outstanding seven innings so far tonight for Yusei Kikuchi last of the eighth inning three to one the Giants are trailing here's Tyler Fitzgerald the pitch to Fitzgerald there's a high drive in the deep left field way back there still going Adios! and now it is a three to two Blue Jays lead Tyler Fitzgerald had struck out two times in a row, and then this time he goes deep. And the walk has moved Bailey into scoring position now. Two on, two out in the last of the ninth. So here is Wisely. Change up, bounce past the mound toward the middle, and it's in the center field. Base hit, and here comes Bailey with the tying run. Wisely comes through in the clutch to tie it, and now Tyro Estrada will try and walk it off. A possible winning run at third base. The pitch. Change up. And the dare that bounces away for the catcher. And here comes Bailey. The ball game is over.